Hey y'all, so I just got back <clears throat> and I uh, did some Funko shopping while I was out today and dang did I score. <laughs> so I went into Hot Topic getting my order for uh, the Superman Flashpoint, which by the way, still so glad that I called this. So, so glad that I called this. <clears throat> but, um... Because if you saw in the Flashpoint Wonder Woman, I said, they really need to make a skinny Superman. So happy that they made it. Um, so this is the one that I ordered. You know, I ordered it in the hopes of getting a chase. Uh, so I opened, so they, it didn't come in a sorter. Um, well, you know, I picked it up from the store. It was in a box wrapped in bubble wrap. It didn't come in a sorter, so that kind of surprised me. But um, while she was looking through, uh, or she was talking to someone else, really, uh, I was looking through the ones that they had, and bingo, I found the Flashpoint Chase Superman. This is the second Chase I found in the wild. I've been collecting three years. Jetta Patrol, I love you, but I have no idea what you're talking about when you say that Chases are easy to find. <sighs> they're, they're not. Maybe where you're at, but where me, where I'm at, uh -uh. They are not easy to find. So here is the Chase Superman. The only difference is the eyes. The eyes glow in the dark. These are, you know, just regular black, non glow in the dark eyes. So you can see the little symbol there. I find, has anyone ever found it weird in the Flashpoint series? They still let him keep the little symbol. I mean, it was a military facility. They just went and give him his, his symbol. Give him like a uniform or you know, more of a prison outfit kind of thing going on or something, but, anyway. yeah, don't you run out of battery on me right now, so, it is getting weaker, I've been using it too much, um, but let's see how good this glows, only the eyes on it glow, because <clears throat> if you watched the movie, or read the comic, either one, um, if you were, Read it, you'll know that finally, as an adult, he sees the sun. He hasn't seen the sun. He's been underground for years, ever since his rocket crashed in this dimension. And the government people have kept him underground. And when finally he sees the sun, his eyes start to glow. And that is not glowing very well at all. <sighs> Let's try it with the lights out and see what happens. I think it's just because my... UV light is so dead. Okay, guys, so it's not glow. <laughs> That's like anticlimactic, but it's still a chase. If I can get it to glow better later, I'll insert a picture. Um, but other than that, even even if it doesn't glow, I'm still really happy to have it, and I love the sculpting on the face. The face looks so awesome because he does look like super skinny. It's so really cool. Oh, I love this. I just so, so love this. I'm not taking the other one out um, just because, you know, it looks exactly like this one but with the eyes. So this one stands on his own if you don't knock him over like I just did. So other than that, um, the... LA Comic Con Pops dropped. Um, I wasn't going to get this one, but I had the Superman and the another one in here at checkout. So I just added this one to get an, a hot cash. So it did get a little banged up in the car. Uh, we took my mom's car today and I don't have protectors in the car. I need to start putting protectors in all the vehicles that I'm in. But I have it in my car, not her. So let's get Colossus out. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, because I didn't get the L.A. Comic Con a Colossus from a couple years ago. But wasn't it, like, this exact same thing, but with a different color suit? I'm fairly certain it was the exact same pop with a different colored suit. <laughs> That's a little bit lazy. <laughs> Just a little bit lazy. Uh, but this is still a cool pop. I'm happy to have it. I love Colossus, and so this is really a cool figure to have still. I'm happy. I can't remember if I have any other Chrome Colossuses or not. I don't think I do. And next, this is the one. I wasn't really planning on going after 
the Ghost Rider Doctor Strange, or Doctor Strange Ghost Rider. Um, but when I saw it, I was like, yeah, this is pretty cool. So, ooh, I love the illustration at the back. I didn't even realize that. What, what did Colossus have on the back? Colossus is just the list of the X-Men. And Superman is just the Superman symbol. I didn't show it. But here is the illustration. So I'm guessing this is from a comic book. I'm not entirely sure. I'm more of a DC person. But this is one of those where it looks like it's levitating with a stand. So that's always kind of cool. So I'm pretty sure the one that's actually at the con glows in the dark. Um, but I don't know how well you guys can tell. Those eyes are actually translucent. So it looks really, really cool. Even without the glow, it looks awesome. And if you look inside the head, you can't see it on camera, but if you hold it up to the light because of the orange, you can actually see like light shining through the head, almost like a jack-o'-lantern. It's really cool. So yeah, here is uh, Doctor Strange as Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider is one of those characters, you know, I don't know too much about him, but his style has always intrigued me. <laughs> he always looks so freaking cool. So I had to get it. This is really, really awesome. So I'm very happy to have this. I don't really care if that's not glow in the dark. Um, obviously the glow in the dark one would have been better, but like I said, the eyes on this one, as soon as I saw those eyes, man, I could not, <laughs> I could not walk away from it. It was too cool. So I did get one more pop today. Now this one, this one I had a, a little worked, had to work a little bit for. So this is Gamer Mickey. GameStop exclusive. So I ordered this. There, there's two GameStops in the town that I go hunting in. Um, I ordered the one, I ordered it from the one in the mall. Um, but there's another one that's, you know, a couple miles away. And they sent it to that one. <laughs> so I got a call saying that it was in. So I just figured it was the one at the mall. So I went to the one at the mall it wasn't there and I was like is there any chance it could have been sent to the other one and he's like who called you and I told him the name of the guy who called me and he's like yeah he doesn't work here <laughs> I think he works at the other one so I had to go down to the other one and get my gamer Mickey she had to call back to the mall because I paid it at the mall when I re when I pre-ordered it and they had to send like a I don't know some kind of viral payment uh, to that store so that I could get my Gamer Mickey. So I had to work a little bit for this one. But you can see there's a new list on the back. We got Band Concert Mix, the, the, the Band Concert Mickey, Plain Crazy Mickey, and Holiday Mickey. I want Holiday Mickey. <laughs> and I want Holiday Mini too. I saw in the rumor mill of uh, FM's, one of FM's video that they're finally making, that they could, it's a rumor, could be making a Daisy and Donald uh, holiday version guys do, do you do you understand that who all understands what I'm saying when I say that we do not have a Daisy Duck pop okay they made all the other classic Disney characters they've made Pluto they've made Mickey and Minnie Goofy Donald they made those for Mickey Minnie, Minnie Goofy and Donald at the beginning they came out with Pluto for the Disney treasures I believe it, there could have been one before that I don't remember but we've never had a Daisy pop why we we have a pint-sized hero and we have her image on a pin from disney treasure that's it <laughs> so i really hope that pans out to be true because i really want it anyway so let's get gamer mickey out of here even though i'm not a gamer myself i've always liked the look of gamers being represented in toys if that makes any sense i just think these look cool so when i saw gamer mickey i had to have it this is so cute. So, first off, he's standing up, so I don't know what game he's playing. Uh, that's definitely not a Wii controller. <laughs> uh, it looks more like a PlayStation or an Xbox, maybe. Um, but yeah, you can see the controller in his hands. You can see the headphones with the mic. His eyes are half open, like he's re he's either really cross uh, concentrating or he's really over the game he's playing. <laughs> He's playing. He's got a cap on backwards, a little hoodie. I love the little hoodie. It's so cute. Oh, this is so cool. He's wearing Converse's. 
<laughs> Mickey Mouse and Converse. That's so cool. Now they need to come out with a gamer uh, mini to go with them. So, and that one does stand on its own. So, that was my haul for today, guys. Uh, four, technically five pops. If anyone, for some reason, can't find the regular Superman, let me know. Because I have an extra one now. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I'm very excited to finally find my second chase in the wild. Uh, even if it doesn't glow all that well. Just the, you know, ch chases aren't all what they're cracked up to be. I'll be the first to say that. They're not that special. But still, we hardly ever find any. Like I said, I've been collecting going on four years now. Never found, I found one. That's it. The Taz from Space Jam. That was the only... Pop I've ever found in the wild until now. I'm happy. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Remember, it's a community, not a competition, and I'll see y'all later. Bye.